Welcome back to the Investing for Beginners community. I'm your host, Johnny. And today, we are actually going to talk Aries Capital, ticker symbol ARCC. So make sure you smash that like button so you can watch future videos just like this. Now, as we get more into Aries Capital, I'm going to show you their fundamentals as well as take a deep dive into Robinhood and Seeking Alpha. You have a premium membership with Seeking Alpha, so we can look at all the uh, ins and outs and all the extra stuff that maybe some of you aren't able to see on your computer. So let's go ahead and get into Aries Capital. Right now they have a price of $20.46. And as you can see in five years, they are actually up 30%. Now their max life, they're up about 36%. And let's go back about a year. Now they are up 10% in appreciation, which is fantastic. Do have a market value of $20.47 with an average cost of $19.99. Uh, so I am slightly up 2%. Now I did find this company uh, a little while ago. So uh, maybe like a week ago or something. I could actually show you right here, January 1st. So just a couple of days ago, it looks like we're on the 4th. But basically Aries Capital Corp is a traded fund. It seeks investment opportunities in companies located in the United States and Canada with an EBITDA between say 10 and 250 million. Now the fund targets companies operating in the field of healthcare services, software services, consumer durables, apparel, and beverage. But that's all it really says here on Robinhood as far as what they're about. Now I dug a little deeper into Seeking Alpha, and what they say is Aries Capital Corporation is a business development company which specializes in acquisitions, recapitalization and mezzanine debt now if correct me if i'm wrong but restructuring and rescuing and rescuing finances creates them a leveraged buyout transaction for middle market companies now basically they find companies that are suffering or struggling to keep up with their finances and they go in there restructure it or acquire the company by putting money in and taking over. Now their industry is in the asset management and custody banks. Their sector is in financial. Now we will get back into some seeking alpha um, for all you people who kind of want to nerd out a little bit and go deeper into the uh, kind of nitty gritty of everything. But for some of you who are just wanting to seek uh, some basic information and save some time. I believe Robinhood is the right place for you. So the CEO is R. Kip Devere. They employ 2,550 employees. They are headquartered in New York, New York, and they were founded in 2004. Now, some of the key statistics of um, Aries Capital or ticker symbol ARCC would be, but smash that like button first please and subscribe if you haven't already that's all that i ask the key statistics here market cap 11.64 billion now the price earnings ratio is 8.77 which is great you want to see a positive pe ratio i never invest in companies negative pe ratio now there may be some times where a good company may see small or negative earnings for a short period of time but as you can see this company is just steadily increasing and going up over time that's what you want to see guys don't invest in companies that are going down because you think they're possibly going to change and go up it's not how the world works and sometimes it does but sometimes it doesn't if they have a five-year track record of it going down with no good news and no good reportings on earnings or anything of the such their trend is probably still going to be down Okay, so uh, Aries Capital has a dividend yield of 9.59%, guys. So this is almost a 10% dividend yield, and they're able to maintain a 30% appreciation, a 10% appreciation over the last year. So uh, we'll get into the dividend 
how much they're paying out. Are they monthly? Are they quarterly? Stick around till the end and I will do that research for you. So their average volume is 3.46 million with a volume of about 1.79 uh, for a day so far. Now, um, there are some recent news. It looks like uh, Aries Capital stock moved. What should you know about it? And then why Aries Capital is top momentum stock for long term. Um, those are great articles to see. Yahoo Finance, if you want me to dig deeper, go ahead and leave a comment. And we'll always do another video on Aries Capital. Uh, maybe if this video gets like, I don't know, what are we at right now? Um, hey, Jimmy. Jimmy, what are we at? Uh, okay, yep. We're at uh, 3,350 subs. So if we get 33 likes, let's just do that. 33 likes on this video, I will uh, make a video on, on Aries and why it is uh, such a good pick for long term. So the analyst rating right now out of 16 ratings, guys, these are 16 rating reports. 88% are saying it's a buy, 12% saying it's hold, and no one's saying it's a sell. Now their earnings right now, their estimated earnings per share looks like it's right around the uh, maybe 50, 60 cents range. And it looks like they're staying pretty close to their estimated with their actual now uh, let us go ahead. So like that is basically what Robinhood's going to tell you. Uh, you can get into some advanced charts, but that's pretty basic for beginners. Now this is an investing for beginners community. So I would start out by using this platform. You're going to be looking at your market cap, your PE ratio, right? You're going to want that to be positive, maybe between five and like maybe 20, 30. You don't want super high PE ratios because they could be inflated or slightly off due to numbers. I've seen them up in the hundreds and three hundreds before. Doesn't make them any better. So as long as they're positive between that range, uh, you do like uh, want a dividend yield. I don't invest in any companies that do not give me a dividend. Um, if they don't pay me anything, then I don't want to invest in it. Now, there are other great companies like Apple, Tesla, although I think Apple is paying a dividend now. Um, there are lot of companies that do not pay dividends so I like getting paid for my time which is basically just buying stock so it's not a lot of time but I like to get paid for it okay I don't just like a company that goes up from uh, say it goes up from 17 to 20 and I sell it and I make three dollars a share would be I'd rather hold on long term get more shares and get more dividends so moving on to seeking alpha Seeking Alpha, guys, premium membership here. If you guys want to check it out, definitely do. Um, I have a whole video talking about Seeking Alpha, so you'll definitely want to check that out. Go deep dive into some of these different features that are on here that you cannot get unless you buy that premium package membership. Now, um, maybe I can show you guys a quick video here or a picture, maybe, if I can pull it up. Let me see. Um, if I can find it real quick, I will show you the benefits. Probably in screenshots. No, it's not. Well, maybe I get into the back end here. And oh, you know, maybe that's for maybe that's for another time. Um, anyways, you can sign up with Seeking Alpha. I do have a uh, link below. If you want to sign up with that code, you will get a discount. I do get a small, um, basically, commission fee partner, um, but we are partners with Seeking Alpha. Definitely check them out. So, um, 11 investing groups are covering ARCC. I guess you could count me as the 12th. We do have a vesting group in another community, not just YouTube, on Facebook. Um, Facebook private group, Investing for Beginners. Over 72,000 members as I'm recording this video, plus the 3,000 here on YouTube and, and many other people following on Instagram, Pinterest, 
the podcast also. So we are hovering very close to 100,000 followers, 100,000 strong in this community of investors just like you. So definitely go over, check it out. Check out the website as well, investingforbeginners.com. There's some great blog articles and a lot of different ways to interact with other people, including yours truly. So Aries Capital on the Seeking Alpha, they are up 10% for the year, 31% for five years. Now they are showing a PE forward of 858, which is fantastic and a EPS of 234. Now they are still showing that dividend yield of 9.59%, which is fantastic. Now there is a rating summary. The Seeking Alpha analysts are saying it is a buy and the Wall Street is saying it is a buy. Now the Quant is saying it's a hold, but look at the factor grades right here. Valuation A+, growth is C, but they are up 10% for the year and they're paying a dividend, so I'm not sure exactly why they got a C. We'll take a deeper look now. Profitability is an A. Momentum is a C minus. And revisions is a B minus. Now, this is now. It looks like they have gone slightly down in some grades in the last three months. But they have gone up in growth over the six-month period. Now, their dividend grade, which this was a factor grade, which is great, right? But the dividend grade, I love these, right? Because it's a whole nother thing. If they don't pay a dividend, they don't get a dividend grade. Now, there are a lot of news articles here as well, um, showing analysts as well as news and different articles. Now, I didn't really see anything that really sticks out to me too much. And again, if this video gets, say, 33 likes, I will do a deeper dive, read some of these articles. It looks like um, October 24th, they declared 48 cent dividend. So we will check that out today. So bear with us in the video. The dividend grade safety is a C plus, the growth is an A, yield is an A, and consistency is a B. So that is actually a fantastic chart uh, to look at. It's a, it's a great grade level for dividends. Now I don't really like that C plus for safety. We'll take a look. I'd rather have that C plus here down in consistency because at least if they miss one, it's not as bad compared as if they have a safety concern and they overpay or don't pay, your stock price goes down tremendously. So uh, seeking alpha versus Wall Street. Now, this is a great breakdown of where they're getting the from as far as the at the top of the screen here. This is why I love the premium package. There's a lot of these features you're not gonna get without that premium subscription, guys. So you're definitely gonna wanna sign up if you wanna take a deeper dive or simply subscribe to my channel, smash that little bell, and you'll know every time I upload a new stock analysis and you won't even have to pay that subscription. So, Strong buy says three, buy 11, hold seven, and they did have a strong sell at one. So it is very interesting to see a strong sell on the Seeking Alpha. Now for the Wall Street, there was nine for strong buy, five for buy, and two for hold. Now, real quick, the bulls. Now, sometimes you can get what the bulls are saying and bears saying on Robin Hood, but it doesn't look like they have this one or have that for this particular company. I believe usually it's like right here between analyst rate and earnings. Um, it could also be right after new, but some companies will have it on there. So don't get discouraged if you don't see that in there. Um, but they do have the bulls and bears communicating. So the bulls on one end are saying Aries pays a strong dividend that looks safe in the current interest rate environment. And then the other ones on the bear side is saying the chances of an easing and the rates are increasing. Aries Capital is not the best beneficiary of easing rates. Relative performance outlook versus the BDC sector confirms the fundamental views. So it's saying that basically if the interest rates keep increasing, Aries Capital is going to have a little bit difficult, a little bit more of a difficult time keeping up with those consistent dividend payouts and that continual 10% growth. Now, I love Seeking Alpha. They give you everything right here. You could even call them if you want. You could check out their website and you could even send them l or go straight to their doorstep but investing in this company really does open up some different diversification i don't have much in the financial sector especially in the asset management department 
Now, as you can see, their revenues have been going up since 2018 from 1.34 billion to what it is currently at 2.75 billion, which is fantastic. It's steadily increasing and going up. That's what you want to see. Now, their earnings per share looks like they're also kind of staying around the um, 59 cents area. Now, they are beating their estimated by usually a penny to two to three pennies every time those now their earnings estimate year over year for 2023 is 15 plus percent which is just fantastic uh 23 total here at the end year over year um first year one up revisions 10 uh their earnings revisions are minus so it does show their evaluations and how they're getting there um grades right revenue year over years 28 do have some earnings per share diluted but that's okay right momentum it seems to be a bit slower than the s p 500 but again the s p 500 is packed with a ton of tech stocks they're calling them the um the great seven or or the something seven uh it used to be the acronym fang f-a-a-n-g i believe they've added a couple more since then so they're getting like the magnificent magnificent seven i think is what they're calling it uh for the tech sector and stuff but that's the only reason and once that starts dropping well, maybe that starts coming down a little bit it won't be as high so their gross profit margin look at that that is gross that is freaking gross 100 percent profit margin EBITDA margin still 73%, net income margins 50%. Return on assets 5, return on equities 12. Now their dividend, here we go, dividend yields 9%. So they're paying out almost $2 for a $20 share. And they have a five year growth rate, or what that means is a five year compounded annual growth rate when your dividends are paid of 4.5 percent now years of growth has been three years their latest announced dividend is going to be 48 cents and they're going to pay that out on december 28th now we are doing this video january 4th so we are going to look at uh, their next dividend and when they're going to be putting that out so dividend growth history here saying they started about a dollar 57 in 2013 slightly went down and they have increased it ever since 2022 they're at a dollar 87 and in 2023 they hit a dollar two these are some institutions corporations individuals in public and the other who have common stocks held for cents of shares outstanding and the market value for each one so it looks like the majority is going to be public and other and the smallest would be I would say institutions or corporations, private actually. That would actually be the smallest. It's not even on there. So some of the peers or companies that kind of go along with this asset management and custody banks would be a few you may have already heard of. Now we do have covered Main or Main Street Capital in some recent videos. So if you want to check out some breakdown and some stock analysis on main street capital you can now i have not heard of obdc gbdc or fsk if you want me to do a video on any of those companies break it down just like i did with this video using Robinhood and the seeking alpha premium subscription version then definitely leave a comment below and i could make a video for you on that so before we go away i'm going to see if there's any upcoming dividends um for us so we're going to go to a dividend calendar and we're just going to check and what i like to use is the nasdaq.com nothing fancy nothing crazy and we are going to get a dividend report right here dividend history on aar or arcc looks like they don't have anything new for 2024 as of yet so definitely check back with me i'll do an update on that and let you know when they will be releasing their information on upcoming dividends 
but it looks like they do pay every quarter. So we have until about March. Um, it looks like last year you had to have a ETF date or ex dividend date by 1214 or 314. So as long as you're in this company by about March, I'd say maybe beginning, you will receive a dividend of about 50 cents, which is awesome, guys. Why not get paid 50 cents on a $20 bill for the rest of your life? Now, it's going to go up in appreciation, and you're going to get more dividends. And with Robinhood, you can get the dividend reinvestment program. So it will actually reinvest that 20 cents and buy me exactly like 1% of this share, which is fantastic. So guys, if you liked this video, definitely subscribe to the channel. Let's grow together. Let's learn and investigate more stocks that people aren't talking about. That's the thing. Everyone's wanting to follow mainstream stocks, Apple, Tesla, Amazon, Google. But there are so many other companies that are outperforming these companies. Now, one instance I'm going to show you here is meta okay now it is facebook but in one year they're up 171 percent okay if this if you're even watching this video right now at this point in time and you wanted me to do a video on this definitely definitely type in meta in the comments below because this is a nuts okay this has outperformed the s p 500 by like a decade in less than a year now the reasoning behind it is because it had a huge dip but again get in that time meantime go check out some other videos because i have over 300 or is it almost 400 now i think it's almost 400 videos now on youtube we just passed 3550 subscribers so make sure you join this community that's growing so fast Gonna be hard to keep up with soon i'm actually probably gonna need to hire some help uh so if you're looking for anything like that as well definitely reach out to me thanks guys have a great day happy training trading and i guess training and researching as well see you in the next one